Okay, I am excited to show you our Imagination Center. Um, as you can see, we label our centers as much as possible with these pennant banners. Um, so we have the one that says Imagination Center that always stays up. Um, but then we have the one that says Grocery Store that is obviously temporary. Um, and we will take a closer look. So I found this grocery store set um it's a little tyke set i found it on facebook marketplace for um like 30 dollars. it was pretty inexpensive um we stuck some reusable and paper bags into our um, grocery store we have two cash registers only because we had this one previously and then this one came with our um grocery store set and of course we have money inside of the cash register no, the kids love that I try to include print as much as possible in our centers so that's why we have the open and close sign welcome to our grocery store um, different egg or different uh, foods and price points um, some most of these materials came from Jackie at Pocket of Preschool. Um, this shopping cart I love so much. This is a hand-me-down for my mother-in-law. It's a Melissa and Doug shopping cart. And then we have real food items, which of course are empty. We were able to collect these rather quickly. I just sent a message out to my students' families, and they sent in all sorts of clean recyclables that we put into our grocery store. This part of the Imagination Center is set up a little cozier. It's supposed to be like if you're at home before you go to the grocery store. So we have a carpet underneath and a stool and a, where the kids can sit down at a table where they can talk on the phone and write their grocery list and look at books about the shopping, um, about the grocery store. And then when they're ready, they just step over here and they do their grocery shopping and then checking out right there. Also, in our grocery store, we included cleaning products so the kids can pretend that they work at the grocery store and they can clean the grocery store. We included some real-life laundry detergent bottles, but then we also have, like, these toy brooms and mops. And then we always have this whiteboard in our Imagination Center. We keep this alphabet linky chart and the number cue card there as well. So if the students want to work on their writing, they're welcome to do that. Um, we put this little daily specials prompt there um, to encourage the kids to maybe write, what are the specials at the store for that day? All right, so that is pretty much it for our Imagination Center as it is set up right now as a grocery store. Um, this center does get changed periodically throughout the school year. Um, prior to this, it was set up as like home living um, with like a kitchen set and baby dolls and um, all the things that you might expect to see in a home living area. Um, they're really interested in the center still. They love the grocery store. So if you're not, if you've never done a grocery store before, I highly recommend it. It's easy to put together and kids generally love it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. You can go ahead and drop them below and I'd be happy to answer them um, as best as I can.